Ever wonder what makes up everything we touch, see, or even taste? It's a question that has intrigued scientists and philosophers alike for centuries. And the answer, believe it or not, is smaller than the eye can see. Yes, we're talking about atoms, the building blocks of the universe. Atoms are the fundamental units of matter, the smallest particles of an element that retain all the chemical properties of that element. They're so small in fact, that it would take around a hundred million of them lined up to span the width of a single human hair. Yet despite their minuscule size, atoms are far from simple. Each one is a microcosm of activity, a tiny universe unto itself. At the heart of this universe lies the nucleus, a dense central core composed of protons and neutrons. Swirling around this nucleus in a cloud of energy are the electrons, particles of negative charge that balance out the positive charge of the protons. But atoms aren't solitary entities, they interact with each other, forming bonds to create molecules, the building blocks of everything from the air we breathe to the cells in our bodies. These bonds can take various forms, from covalent bonds where atoms share electrons, to ionic bonds where one atom gives up an electron to another, to metallic bonds found in metals. These atomic interactions are the driving force behind chemical reactions, the processes that transform one substance into another. They're the reason why iron rusts, why wood burns and why we can digest our food. So, as we delve into the world of atoms, we begin a journey into the very essence of the universe itself. A journey that will take us from the nucleus of an atom to the farthest reaches of the cosmos, from the dance of chemical reactions to the formation of compounds. Along the way we'll discover how atoms shape our understanding of the fundamental principles of chemistry and the physical world. So, as we delve into the world of atoms, we begin a journey into the very essence of the universe itself. At the heart of every atom lies its core, the nucleus, a bustling metropolis of particles. The nucleus is the hub of atomic activity, housing protons and neutrons. Now, imagine protons as the city's vibrant residents, each laden with a positive charge. Neutrons on the other hand are the quiet neighbors, bearing no charge at all, yet both are vital to the city's rather the atom's life. Now let's talk about the atomic number. This is essentially the city's population census, counting the number of protons in the nucleus. Every atom has its unique atomic number, and it's this number that defines an atom's identity. For instance, hydrogen has an atomic number of one, signifying a single proton in its nucleus, while helium has two. Then we have atomic mass, a measure of the atom's total weight. It's like weighing all the city's inhabitants, protons and neutrons, together. Electrons, despite their vital role, are incredibly light and don't contribute much to an atom's mass. Speaking of electrons, these tiny particles orbit the nucleus much like planets around a sun. They carry a negative charge providing a perfect counterbalance to the positive protons. This delicate balance creates a neutral charge overall, a crucial aspect of an atom's stability. In the grand atomic city, electrons reside in energy levels, also known as shells. The innermost shell is closest to the nucleus, housing the lowest energy electrons, while the outer shells accommodate higher energy ones. As we delve deeper, we find that these energy levels aren't random. They follow a specific pattern, described by quantum mechanics. But that's a story for another day. So from protons and neutrons in the nucleus, to the orbiting electrons, every component of an atom plays a vital role. Together, they create a dynamic system, a symphony of particles dancing to the laws of physics. The balance of these particles determines the identity of each atom, making them as unique as fingerprints. Atoms, like people, form bonds. But how does this happen? Let's delve into this captivating question together. Imagine atoms as social butterflies, constantly seeking companionship. But instead of friendship, they're after something a little more scientific. Stability. And this stability is achieved through bonding. There are three main types of atomic bonds, covalent, ionic, and metallic. Let's break down each one. First, covalent bonds. Picture two atoms sharing electrons, much like two best friends sharing secrets. This sharing helps both atoms achieve a stable electron configuration. And voila, that's a covalent bond for you. Next, we have ionic bonds. This is more like a give-and-take relationship. One atom gives up an electron and another takes it, resulting in positively and negatively charged ions. The attraction between these opposites forms an ionic bond. Last but not least, metallic bonds. Think of these as a communal sharing of electrons. The electrons are free to move around creating a sea of electrons. This electron sea is what gives metals their unique properties like malleability and conductivity. 
but how do atoms decide which type of bond to form? The answer lies in their outermost electrons, also known as valence electrons. Atoms will either share, donate, or pool their valence electrons to reach a stable state, so atoms bond to achieve stability. But it's more than just a pursuit of tranquility. These bonds form the backbone of everything around us. They hold the pages of your book together, give water its liquid form, and even make the air we breathe. Atomic bonds are like the invisible ties that bind the universe together. They're the silent orchestrators of the physical world, working tirelessly behind the scenes to create the world as we know it. And so it's clear that these bonds are not just a scientific phenomenon, but a fundamental part of life as we know it. When atoms bond, they create a force that holds the universe together. And isn't that a beautiful thought? Atoms don't just sit around, they are constantly interacting, creating the dynamic world we see around us. Our universe is a grand stage where atoms perform a ceaseless ballet, a dance of chemical reactions. This intricate performance is at the heart of everything around us, from the air we breathe to the food we eat. Imagine atoms as tiny dancers, each with a unique role in the performance. Some are quick and energetic, darting across the stage, while others are calm and steady, anchoring the performance. Each atom's dance moves are determined by the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons it possesses. And it's these dance moves that dictate how atoms interact with each other, resulting in chemical reactions. In a chemical reaction, atoms rearrange themselves to form new substances. It's like a dance switch, where partners are exchanged in the middle of a performance. For instance, when hydrogen and oxygen atoms come together, they perform a duet, rearranging themselves to form water. This is not a random shuffling, but a precise and orderly process following the laws of nature. The formation of compounds is another fascinating aspect of this atomic dance. Compounds are the result of atoms from different elements linking arms and stepping in harmony. Consider sodium and chlorine. Alone, each is hazardous. But when they dance together, they form table salt, a compound crucial for life. Chemical reactions also involve energy changes. Picture it as the rhythm of the dance, the beat that propels the dancers. Energy is either absorbed or released, causing the atoms to move faster or slower, affecting the tempo of their dance. So the next time you witness a fizzing soda or a burning candle, remember, it's not just simple everyday phenomena, it's the result of countless atoms, spinning, twirling and leaping in a complex choreography. In this atomic ballet, new substances are born, energy is exchanged and the wonders of our universe are revealed. In the dance of atoms, the choreography of chemical reactions unfolds, Understanding atoms is like unlocking a secret language of the universe. It's a language that has allowed us to delve into the nature of matter and the fundamental constituents of the universe. This journey we have embarked on together, exploring the atomic world, has shown us how intricate and fascinating it truly is. Atoms, these tiny particles, are the building blocks of everything we see, touch, and experience. They form the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, and indeed even us. But they are not just building blocks, they are more like tiny universes within themselves, buzzing with activity and full of interactions. The atomic structure with its nucleus of protons and neutrons orbited by electrons, is a microcosm of cosmic order. And it's this order that dictates how atoms bond and interact with each other, forming everything from the simplest molecule of water, to the complex DNA that defines life. Through atomic bonding, atoms share, exchange or donate electrons, forming covalent, ionic, or metallic bonds. This dance of atoms, this rhythmic exchange, is the essence of chemical reactions. It's through these reactions that atoms form compounds, creating the myriad of substances that make up our world. But understanding atoms is not just about chemistry, it's also about physics, where atoms explain phenomena from electricity to magnetism. It's about biology, where the atomic makeup of molecules underpins life processes. It's about geology, where atomic interactions shape the Earth's crust. And it's about astronomy, where atomic elements forged in the hearts of stars light up the night sky. In understanding atoms, we're also understanding the principles that guide our universe. We're seeing the laws of nature played out on a microscopic scale, and we're gaining insights into the vast cosmos. In the universe of atoms, we find the echoes of the cosmos, reminding us that we are all made of stardust. So, as we journey through the atomic world, we are, in essence, journeying through ourselves, through our own atomic makeup. And in this journey, we find a sense of connection, a sense of unity with the universe.